Good evening and welcome to Edgar Stadium here at Van Wert High School where tonight WSN brings you round one of the playoffs. We are in the Region 14 and uh, we are in a uh, win. Division four in Region 14, and we're going to start this all over again, Zach. So just X that out, will you? <laughs> all right, here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Good evening and welcome to Edgar Stadium here in Van Wert, where tonight WSM brings you opening round playoff action. The Wauseon Indians are here to play the Van Wert Cougars. It is Division Four, Region 14, and we have a matchup this evening of a six and four Wauseon team and a nine and one Van Wert team. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to be play by play. Alongside your color commentary, Scott Mag. Scott, this is going to be an Indian team that throws the football. Yeah, both teams like to really throw it again. Uh, I think Wauseon really is more committed to the pass. Uh, Van Wert likes to throw it, but they like to spread you and also like to run the ball with their uh, do-everything running back as well. But they have three different running backs due to the Wauseon Indians, but none of them have gained more than 184 yards on the season, so they do spread it around a little bit. Van Wert will get to football first. They are in their dark gray uniforms with red helmets, and Wauseon will be in white with red. And Scott is about 50 degrees right now. It'll be 44 when we finish, but there's no wind. It's actually a very nice night for high school football at the end of October. Yeah, absolutely. I, I was a little worried that, you know, <laughs> normally it's snowing and, and whatever, but we're, we're lucky, especially sitting outside here tonight. Well, we are. Let's get through our officiating crew. John Derryberry will wear the white hat this evening. Bill Crew, Rusty Crew, Steve Orn, and Charlie Gasparetti will be our officiating crew. Let the clock wind down to zero so we can get this one started at exactly... 7 p.m. That means that uh, the Van Wert Cougars will have the football first, and that means Aiden Pratt will be stepping in to play quarterback, and the seniors had quite a year, Scott. Yes, he has. Uh, uh, what what impresses me, we, I've been uh, lucky enough to cover a couple of their games, and he does get the, rid of the ball so well, and the ball just jumps out of his hand. Uh, and, and you can see why he's, you know, looked at a lot of Division One, Division Two schools in this region has uh, probably all contacted him. Nate Phillips is deep. He, along with Ryland Parker, this will head to Phillips on our opening kickoff, and we are underway. High school playoff action, and Phillips dances up over the 25-yard line. Will the Cougars six, will Nate begin? Let's return. give it Aiden Pratt's numbers. He has thrown. 267 passes this year, Scott. He's thrown three interceptions. Yeah, and again, they have five guys that they like to throw the ball to, and he's very, very good at getting the ball to the open receiver. And give them credit, none of those guys have to have the ball. They're all, you know, they want to win, and they do such a good job uh, spreading it out. And then uh, what happens is they like like Parker running the ball too. When you, when you sit on that pass, they usually get Parker coming up with a run. That is Brylon Parker in the backfield along with Aiden Pratt. He's on his left hip. And he's going to go in motion, make a trips right. Pratt will keep the football and run up the middle. 15, Aiden Pratt Short on the game. keeper. Yeah, good job by the, that defeats Brought defensive line, excuse me, Chance to no. crutch the, um, pinch that off and get him down for a tackle there. Gain of one, second Aiden Pratt, nine 192 Cougars. completion out of 267 attempts. He's thrown for 2,824 yards and 32 scores. He's also run for just under 608 scores. And he spins through a tackle right there, but not a very successful run on second down. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's on the more of the same thing, but a good job by the defensive end there. Number 34, Zayden Kessler. The, uh, the three, looks like a three-year starter on the, at the defensive end. No gain, third and nine He's read that Cougars. twice very, very well. The Wauseon Indians give up just 15.7 points per game in their 10 contests, so they have been a pretty successful defensive team. Pratt rolls to his left, and snap throw, and it's caught. And he finds this time, 15 that's Pratt's Max Crutchfield. To 11, Maddox Crutchfield. And that will be a first Ball down. Ball plays good for a Cougar first down. In the games that I've seen, that he one, they need a catch. He looks to Crutchfield a lot. Four receivers go to the right this time for Pratt, and he will look right. Here's Crutchfield right here, and they get to him in a hurry. Great job. Pratt's pass complete to 11, Maddox Crutchfield. Good job by Armstrong out there, the defensive back. Down by number eight, Jude Shedded Armstrong. the blocker and went and got him Lost down. Lost one, second and 11 for the Cougars. Lost a yard back to the 35-yard line on the opening drive for the Cougars in this game. Crutchfield has 47 catches for 784 yards and 10 scores. Garrett Gunter has 51 catches for 721 and five scores. Talk about some of the other guys' numbers as this <laughs> yeah. go through that. We got some big, big numbers. 
Here's Pratt. Going to throw it deep. He's got a guy open. Oh, oh he just, just missed, missed it. it. Yep, he had Nate Phillips out there. Yeah. He just missed him. Intended for I six, think it looked like for when he threw that, he, he seen him, and he was a good, great read. He, I think he thought Phillips 11, was going to go Sam more Smith. up the field, and he Third kind of made Cougars. that more of like a post coming across and just off his fingertips. Nate Phillips has 29 catches, 445 yards, and five scores. He almost tacked on number six right there. <laughs> yeah, now sure we did. get a third and 11. But you've seen there, Mark, how effortlessly he was on that throw, and he threw that 50 yards pretty easy. Trying to get him to jump. They did not. Here's the play change. Play clock getting down there, and they just do get it off. Yes, they did. Pratt looks, 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 and tucks Oops. it, and lost the football. Yeah, he slipped. And got it back, though. A great job by Wasion here to come in and, and force the punt on the first Snow. possession for the Cougars. Now they, they rushed four and dropped Lost seven six, and played kind of a zone. Years. Kind of confused Pratt there a little bit and uh, slipped trying to move up in the pocket and Number five, good job Gage by the Indians. Steeman the Gage Steeman is the punter. He averages just a tick under 38 yards per punt this year. Big rush on, Ooh. and they got that right got a hand yeah, on it. Yep. I think he got it right underneath the would-be blocker there. It does take a really good yes, roll. Gets past Jude Armstrong, but Wasian will take over. Well, it's down right around the 32-yard line. To go first and 10 for the quarter. Indians. Their quarterback is Trey Parsons. He is a 6'2", 165-pound junior. He's thrown 195 passes this year, completed 127 with eight interceptions. 1,482 yards and 12 scores, and he's got some wideouts they are going to throw a lot of balls to as well. Yep. Jude Armstrong, who was back that time to try to field the punt, has 62 catches out of the 127 completions on the season. Jude wears number eight. And their receivers go two by two with Parsons in the backfield. Quick out. This is Sam Smith. Running hard there to get, get some three or four yards. And Smith will get to about the number three, Trey Parsons, 35 pass, yard line. So give him Sam three Smith. on that, second and seven. Brought down by four, Luke Wessel. In a, in a, in a good idea by the, the Indians. Hurry up and get the rid of the ball because the front four for the Cougars can disrupt the quarterback. Um, starting with Agent Pratt, the quarterback from his defensive end, he gets in the backfield quite a lot. Sean Moore's team averages 23.9 on the season. That one's knocked down yeah. the line of scrimmage by Aiden three, Pratt. Trey Parsons is passed, batted down to the line of scrimmage and the Cougars. Mark, I Number 15, Aiden Pratt. Just to remind everybody that play he made to win a basketball <laughs> game last year against Wayne <laughs> Trace. Yeah. He blocked an inbounds pass, yeah. and scored at the buzzer, and right. got fouled and won a game for him. Yeah, what an athlete that oh, he is, I'm telling you. Is. He play, you know, one of the better quarterbacks in the area and probably one of the top five to ten defensive ends in the area as well. Trips left, and... Lots of movement on both sides. Let's see who the call will totally go Mark against. The play. It looked like yeah. number 51, Chase yeah, Snow, totally jumped you are first. Right. He did. Start against the Indians. Take it back to the 31. He was kind of, the Cougars, a couple of those Five defensive yards, linemen jumped a little bit, 11. and uh, he got a little anxious and jumped. That's very difficult for a lineman when you got guys jumping around and not want to fire out and help your quarterback and yeah. running back out. That moves it to third and 11, same formation. Parsons. And we'll drop straight back. Pratt comes off the edge. He's got to force him out of the pocket. There's a snap throw, and it will go incomplete. Number three, Trey Parsons is passing. Great Center defense by Wessel, who jumped in front. And if if that was anywhere, anywhere a closer Fourth receiver, he may have picked that one hands. off. Parson did a good job of throwing it only where his receiver could catch it, but nonetheless, incomplete. So they will go into punt formation. Crutchfield is deep on one side. I think that is Parker on the far side. I got a flag down on this one. And Crutchfield comes up and fields it on the run. And he will go down near midfield. Let's see what Number the flag 11, is. I don't think they were return. set, if I'm not mistaken. First hit on the play by 24, yeah. Ryan Friend. Penalty marker on the play. Might probably will decline this, this yeah. with that short punt. And, well, yeah, I was going to decline it, I believe. 
Good decision. Tony goes against the Indians for illegal formation. At the 49 yard line. Elected to climb. Really good field position for them. Yeah, but if you're looking at Watson, they had the ball for for 52 seconds, and that's, yeah. that's not good when you're playing this type no, of offense. No, not only that, right, you, you, they got to complete, they do like to sling it, as you mentioned earlier, but they got to complete them passes to keep the clock running. Incomplete passes stop or get first downs, right, to keep keep this potent offense on the sidelines. Mylon Parker in the backfield, he has 651 yards rushing this year and 16 scores. And he's going to get a handoff yeah. right here and dance off left tackle. And to number seven, Brylon Parker on the carry. About the line of scrimmage, perhaps a yard. The tackle that time is by Logan Carroll. Brought down Carroll. by 33, Logan Carroll. And Xavier Martinez was there as well. Short gain on the play, I, second I, I tell you, Mark, I'm really impressed with the, the defensive lineman for the Wauseon Indians. They've been uh, controlling the line of scrimmage so far in this game. They rush three this time. They drop eight into coverage. Pratt slings it out. It's nope. Ball but off, bounced around through Garrett for Gunter's hands and will pass fall in for 10. Garrett Gunter's incomplete. Third down and at nine. Defended by nine, Tyson Rodriguez. Third down. Trying to make an effort to catch it when his feet were out of bounds. I don't know if he did would have would have caught that. His feet would have been out of bounds, so that would have been an incomplete pass anyways. Marciano's coming off a two-game losing streak after a four-game winning streak. Their last two games were a 20-12 loss to Archibald, who's 8-2, and a 21-7 loss to Bryan, who finished 6-4. and fours. Third down, Parker in motion. Pratt's going to step up, and we're going to get a gonna flag hold. and an incomplete. Yep. Yes, or a fa uh, legal for hands to the face, Pratt's I believe. Intended for three, Connor Campbell's incomplete. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's see if they back him up or whether they look at a punt. I think they, well. Sean Derry Ray looking at the sidelines to see what Sean holding. Ball wants to do. And Sean Moore says, we're going to decline it. I think that's a good decision. You don't want to give this offense another crack at scoring. Fourth that, down and nine for it, the Cougars. Those receivers are starting to break free in that secondary. It's only going to be a matter of time before they find them. They're steaming again to punt. Rush comes pretty good again, and once again, it will bounce and check up on Jude Armstrong on the far side of the field, and now Wasian will get another possession. And the Cougars had it for about 40 seconds that time, so <laughs> some Ball goes out of bounds at the 19-yard yeah. line, first and 10 for the Indians. The 19, we will go. The sports report is in season 18. You can catch it every Friday night through the playoffs. Patrick Campbell in a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around all season long every Friday at... 10 p.m. on WTLW. Trey Parsons and crew back for their second go around. A three and out. They've included a penalty. Receivers go two by two. Here comes a motion man. This is Sam Smith. And fake it. Now here's Smith in a, catching the ball out in territory. And space and Smith's got some room to run. Yeah, we are. This is coming back. You can see Sam Smith, 6'4", 210 is a big target. 11, Sam yeah. Smith. This penalty is going to go against Washington. Brought down by seven, Brylon Parker. There's a penalty marker on the play. Yep. I always like that guy, you know, everybody in the stadium. He's out here in space, and he, he gives the official to who, me? <laughs> right. You know, it's yeah. just like in basketball when you call, and the guy looks at his jersey number like, right. oh, it was me? So. <laughs> penalty is a holding call against the Indians. All right, so we're going to take this one back. Good play design, though. They oh, like faked the play. run and got yeah. him out in space. Obviously, he is their athlete, and they want to get him out in space, and that was a good play design. 6'4", 210. He's yeah. a big target, and yeah. uh, he's got good wheels as well, but the penalty, the penalty first down spot foul takes it back Indians, to the 14-yard line. Yard line. first and 15 from there. Looks like trips to the right. The running back right now is number 34, Zayden Kessler. Kessler's more of a blocking back in this scheme as Parsons looks. He's got plenty of time, and now he's going to tuck it and run into the arms of number 55. And number 55 is Jackson number Jones. Number three, Trey Parsons on the keeper. Brought down by 55. Yeah, and in the program, Jones. they have uh, Kessler. He's an offensive lineman, so... What a Lost great yard on the play. playing Second fullback, but being an Indians. extra lineman to control that front four that we kind of mentioned earlier in the broadcast about how they get after the quarterback. And now they're going to 
switch out. Looks like another DB in for one of those down linemen. As mentioned, Owasian averages 23.9 points per game offensively. Bandwork gives up 17.6. Of course, the Cougars scored at 46 and a half. Play clock is winding down, and Parsons gets the snap and rolls to his left. Got a guy open, and he wings it out. Is it caught? Yes, they did. Yes, yeah. it is. That would be Ethan Borton. Number three, Trey Parsons' this pass complete to so 15. He's about three Ethan yards Borton. short. Ethan Borton has 19 catches, 230 yards in the regular season. He had one score. Ball went to the 31-yard line. Gain of 12, third Good down pass by Parsons. He put that, you know, he threw that ball mark right on before the receiver even turned in his break. It's, it's amazing that how these high school quarterbacks doing stuff that the college and the pros guys are doing. It's, it's amazing how that type of thing is coming down to the high school game. Completion went to the 26 with his third and three. Need to get to the 29. Parsons to throw again. Throws and... That one just got away from him a little bit. He's yeah. kind of upset with himself. Sorry, you mean to cut you off. Trey Parsons is You mean to cut you off there, I'm sorry. Ethan Borton's incomplete. Defended by seven, Brylin Parker. Looks like we're going to have another three and out for four Wasian for the Indians. Tyson Rodriguez will go back into punt formation. Number nine, Tyson Rodriguez into punt. You know, punt. Uh, when you're, you're kind of outmatched, you know, coming in a little bit, you, you make a big play, but a penalty kills you. You know, stuff like this tonight, Wasion has to limit those penalties. Play clock running down. Here's the punt on a low line drive, and Crutchfield lets it bounce and then snaps it up. Crutchfield's got left. Opening. He's got a lot of room. Yes, he does. Crutchfield up the left sideline. Good punt return and steps yeah. out of bounds. Number 11, Maddox Crutchfield on the return. And I don't know if that was how it was set up to go that way, Mark, but I think that might have been his sheer athleticism that he just took the ball and outran everybody to the edge. Yeah, he did. Ran out of to go here wise. in our opening quarter. He takes that thing all the way down to the 31-yard line. Of the Wasion Indians, so great field position here for drive number three for the Cougars. I got a feeling they, they might look at the run a little bit more. Um, I, I just got a feeling. I, I think Parker's going to have to have himself a little bit. They got to loosen up this defensive line and run a little bit, maybe do some draws or something, and maybe that's kind of what they were thinking when they ran Pratt earlier in the game. A man in motion, fakes the handoff, and throws it deep, got him. and got it. He put the ball right on the oh, money to Connor Campbell. But he dropped it. He dropped it? Yes, he did. I think the uh, safety came for in there. Pratt's pass intended for three. Connor Campbell's incomplete. Parsons came in there and knocked that one away. Great job Defended from his... nine, Tyson Rodriguez. Uh, what did I get for right in my place? The, the play's done. Yeah. I thought he made a really nice catch he on a sure good ball. Did. And apparently got away from him when he got uh, hit. The ball hit the turf. Yeah. Or, uh, well, I think got the uh, yeah got knocked loose by the safety. I'm about to throw though. Uh, yeah, that Snapped was that thing out there. right on a line there too. Here's Pratt. And look again. Blitz coming. Throws. That's batted up in the air. Will fall incomplete. That guy again, number 34, Zayden Kessler. I tell you, he's having hit, pass, hit himself a pretty good first quarter so far. Yes. Third and ten for the Cougars. Just third and ten, and what was probably four down territory. Oh, but yeah. the Washington defense has held up well so yes, far. Yes, they have. Quarter. Yes, they have. Just halfway through it. Third and ten. Parker goes in motion, and Pratt will roll right. And looks and looks, snaps it, and it's caught. That time it was caught yeah. by Connor Campbell. Yeah, what a great job to snatch that one out of the air. Three, Connor Campbell. First down, yep. It will be a first Ran down. Bounds by 12, Braylon Miller. Got the is good 20, for Van Wert. Right first the 20 down. Yard line. Picked up 11 for a first down. And we're right back at it. This is Braylon Parker. And he will fall forward to about the 17. Number seven, Braylon Parker on the carry. Brought down by 34. It might Zayden be, it might be a Parker show here, 20 and in, just because he was running hard. He ran over people. He, I'm just been so impressed with him on this season. Crutchfield with a catch. A little pitching catch there. He makes the first guy miss. 
And it's going to get close to the first the 15 down yardage. Pratt's pass complete to 11. Maddox As Parkfield. you can see, they faked the handoff, and those linebackers had to come up and try right to fill that line because they were so worried about how hard he was running. They snuck Crutchfield out on the outside, and he was wide open there in the flats. Gain of five, third and one for the Cougars. He got to the 11. They need the 10 for a first down. This is Parker. He gets the first down yardage. It'll be first Number and goal. Number seven, Brylin Parker on the carry. Brought down by 52, Justin Duncan. There's all the plays good for a Cougar first down. Quickly. It's, am it's amazing how quick they get set. This play will begin from the eight-yard line. It's first and goal. Pratt keeps it this time. Eight and touchdown. Aiden Pratt's in the end zone from eight yards out. 15, Aiden Pratt on the keeper. Good for the Cougar touchdown. Aiden Pratt from eight yards out on the seventh play of the drive. The cover just 31 yards. Our extra points today are sponsored by Lee Kinsel Sales and Service on Irving Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. Here's PAT attempt. This is done by Damon McCracken and... Get it down, kick is up, and good. sails through. Had to wait for the official yeah, to make the score. Up and good by 23, the score Damon McCracken. 7 to nothing. you're watching High School Football WSN. Kitchens Incorporated in Van Wert has GE appliances and specializes in your kitchens and bathroom remodeling Kicking needs. off for the Cougars is 23 Stop the call today for a free estimate at 419-238-5650. Scoreboard shows the Back Cougars the on the Indians, board first. Eight, they lead Jude Armstrong. Cracking the kick off. Deep into the middle of the field is Tyson Rodriguez. Well, that's Jude Armstrong in the middle of the field, my mistake. The numbers are hard. Rodriguez, yeah, Rodriguez on the far side of the field. Yeah, the single numbers are hard that's to good see. Good kick. Yes, sir. And it will sail down into the hands of Sam Smith. Sam Smith, and he's going to get cut down. We've got a flag way behind the play. Let's see what this is all about. Sure do. Number 11, great tackle. Smith, it was a turn. great tackle. Yes. Big hit on the play by 17, Briston Wise. Yeah. Penalty marker on the play. Holding is the yeah. call. Football is currently on the six yard line. Really nice kickoff and then a super tackle down there. Absolutely. Great job by one. He took his legs Coming right out. That was a heck of a play. And you know, it all started with the kick because they, they they ran Smith back, you know, an athlete like that, when he's going back to catch the ball, it's a lot easier to go get him and tackle him yeah. than if he's making his momentum coming down towards you. So that was a great spot, ball great location of the kick. Line, first and 10 for the Indians. the Indians will start their, their uh, third possession of this game and will do so on their own three yard line. Trey Parsons is in the backfield. Yeah. They're going to have farther a little bit back. Yeah. Yep. Mark on the play. We'll move it up front. Yes, sir. In the backfield now is number 24, Ryan Friend. Now, he is actually listed as a running back. <laughs> yeah. So perhaps he will get to handle the ball. Yeah, absolutely. Penalty is a false start penalty against Especially the Indians. when you back it up to about the one and a half yard line. Right. There's not much of a breeze. What we have right now would be in the face of the Indians. Yeah, and Parsons just comes off. They sub the lineman in for him. I don't know. So, Second Wildcat here. Wildcat yeah, time. looks like we it. Are. A friend in the backfield. Direct snap. Yeah. And not yeah. much room to run no, right here. I don't know if he got out of the end zone. Barely. He's barely. Yeah. The half yard line. Cooper's one of safety. Not going to get that keeper. call. Yeah. Yeah, maybe to the one. He got it out to the one. First hit on the play by 53, Jacob Furst. We're going to bring the quarterback back in. I, I don't, Loss no. of one. No, I don't think so. Nope. Mark, he's still bringing a different running That's back. Right. Maybe. Yeah, this time we're bringing in Austin Kovar. Yeah. 
Six think... foot, 195 pounder. The Cougar fans were, yeah. were, were seated amongst. They, they <laughs> sent something right here. Yeah. There he goes, runs straight ahead, and yeah. too many great jerseys in yeah, the way. Absolutely. He might have got out to the two this time. Number three, Trey Parsons on the keeper. I didn't think that was Trey. That was 34, I believe. Was it? Yeah. It was Kessler. I, it was, yeah. yes. Because I see first yeah. Parsons the over there on the sidelines. So. Well, the ball's back to the three yard line. Eight of one, third and 11 for the Indians. So it is third and a long 10. Go, guys! Yeah. Now 34 is in the middle of the set back there. That's Kessler. He's the one running the Wildcat, I believe. He is. And he will hand off. And. Number 33 is the running back. That's Logan Carroll. He doesn't get to the five-yard line. Yeah, great job by Crutchfield. Come from his linebacker position. He just shot out a cannon and one made that Brought tackle. What Crutchfield a heck of a play. Smith and 23, yeah. Damon McCracken. So they ran three plays, and they got to the back Dana to the original line of scrimmage, the yeah. three-yard line. And that means we go into punt formation nine, with Tyson, Tyson Rodriguez. Rodriguez in the punt. Parker stands about yeah, the 30-yard 30 30 yard line. line right. Yeah, they're going to get a great field position. Right, and I think they're coming. Does that look to it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And they do, and he just does quick kick it away, but... Wow, going sideways. Parker picks it up at about the 26. And dances up. Oh, my God, uh, something another... Seven, uh, I think Parker that was the orange one. Uh, okay. Yeah, that... I'm not big on the brought down yeah. by 14, Xavier Martinez. That was the orange marker was thrown that yeah. time. And well, it came in late. That's why I was yeah. thinking it was a flag. I thought maybe they'd get him for a face max because his head kind of went down a little. Again, we're way over here on this other side. It's hard to see. Well, that is a special teams of defense has set this up. And yes. They're on the 16-yard line. Yeah. And you mentioned it earlier. You can't you can't give this team that short field, this potent offense, only have to get in less than 20 yards right in the red zone here. 2.24 to go, first quarter. Pratt's got Brian Parker on his left hip. And will keep it himself. And run down to about the 13. 15 in Pratt on the keeper. Now they're kind of loosening up that uh, front four and they're getting run some holes. Aiden Kessler. Aiden Pratt is 6'4", 205. Four, six Scott, and he is every bit of that. Uh, yes. I've, I've stood beside him on a football field before, and uh, he is every bit of 205. Yeah, and I've stood by him on a basketball court <laughs> many a times, too, and he's he might be 6'6". Six, six. Pass out to Parker. Parker's going to dance down to about the five on a good play. 15 Aiden Pratt's pass complete to seven, Brylin Parker. He's brought down by 52, to the first Justin looking Duncan to see for the mark, and there it is. Yeah. He first to goal at the good five. For a Cougar, first down. Again, they're at the line of scrimmage, ready to run the play within 10 seconds of the ball being spotted. Parker goes in motion. Pratt keeps it up the middle. Touchdown. And second time, he's into the end zone. Number 15, Aiden Pratt on the Untouched. keeper's hit for the Cougar. Touchdown. So Aiden Pratt makes the most of his second opportunity to get into the end zone. That was just a three-play drive from the 16-yard line. And we're back to a Lee Kinsel sales and service extra point. There you can find them on Irving Road here in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. That means that Damon McCracken will be called on for a second opportunity here in the opening quarter. Parker gets it down, kick is up. Landed somewhere out near Convoy. The extra point is up and good by 23, Damon yes. McCracken. <laughs> Yeah, we're Cougars. We'll take a 14 nothing lead as we had uh, 90 seconds to go in the first quarter. You're watching high school football on WLSN. Our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Kitchens Incorporated in Van Wert. Appliances and specializes in your off. kitchen and bathroom remodeling needs. Stop in or call Shay today. For free Number estimates eight, at 419 238 5650. 14 0 Cougars, 90 seconds to go, opening quarter. Kraken will kick off. 
Wauseon just needs something positive, you know, a first down, a, a big play, something to get him going. Kraken's kick. Slipped. Sailed. Still gets it way Sailed. out there. Yeah, down to the yeah. nine-yard line. That directional kick. A little better position this time on the run back by Sam Smith. Number 11, Sam Smith on the return. So the Cougars that time go 16 yards. First three plays from play 56 seven, seconds. And their two touchdown drives have taken 11 plays, and they've covered a grand total of 47 yards. Kraken didn't get, get into all that kind of slipped and therefore that's why Smith didn't have to run back like he did the play before. So Balls at the 22 yard line, first and 10 for the Indians. Luciana started on their own 32, 19, three, and now 22 in their four drives. Craig Parsons is back in his quarterback and he puts Jude Armstrong in motion. Here's a handoff and nowhere to run. No. Nope. Number 24, Ryan Friend on the carry. The carry was by Friend. I think McCracken came in for the tackle from his linebacker spot. Tackle for a loss on the play by 53, Jacob Hurst. Put it down right about the 22-yard line. Second and 11 for the Indians. 22. It's a long 10 to go for a first down for Wasian. They average on the season 24 points a game and... Uh, They've not had good field position here. Here's a quick catch out here on the sideline by Rodriguez. Number three, Positive Trey play. Parsons' yeah. pass complete to nine. Tyson Rodriguez ran down by 15. Eight they and average Pratt. 256 yards per game. Gain of eight, third and three They've for the had, Indians. Uh, three, three and outs here in the opening quarter against this Cougar defense. Look at a third and three. Yeah, Wasion just. <laughs> needs this first down in the worst way just to have something positive and I don't know if they, they have yeah, to they, snap this. They have to. It's yeah. just, just barely like, do they have to run a play. Right, like I think there's a differential yeah, of have, one second, I yes. think. There's Parsons to throw. He's going to throw it deep. He's got Rodriguez out here. Oh, and, almost trying to make the one-handed catch. And we're going to get a flag. Yeah, I think they're going to yep. call Real pass. Hand fighting with Reese yeah, Crew hold, out here. Uh-huh. Yep. He was holding him. Eh, he, yeah. he had a hand on him the whole he way, and, yep. and that's a good call by the official Trey back there. Pass intended for nine These fans Rodriguez. around us aren't happy, but I think that's the right call, Mark. Crew, I would agree with that. On the you play. can see him doing some hand fighting up yep. the sideline there. I think he might have even had a hand on his arm that he couldn't try to catch that with two. Come on! Wrecker was not happy about the call, and... Uh, on the field. Anyway, we're going to get a first down. Against the Cougars. Several that is their initial first down. Yeah, several coaches were not happy with that call. Yeah. Penalty results in they automatic put the down, down the at. They haven't got the chain set either. No. And that will bring the quarter to an end. I believe. Untimed down? Can you can you end on a penalty? Maybe not. Yeah, untimed down. That's I think correct. that's yes, fine. That is correct. Yeah. The call was hold. Which will take the football to the put on the 40? I believe. Yep. Right on the 40-yard line. Ball's at the 40-yard line. So First and 10 for the Indians. Recall. Yep, so an untimed down. Okay, Parsons. Take this snap against a four-man rush and roll right. And a blitz coming from McCracken. He throws, and that will fall incomplete. Number three, Trey Parsons is pass intended for 11. Sam Smith and incomplete. And with that, opening quarter by in the four, books. Luke Wessel. That play will end the first quarter. For the Van Wert Cougars, they'll take a 14-0 lead to the second. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Fans at this TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sport broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click donate. Parsons going to roll right. Here's a quick throw out. Good catch out here by Jude Armstrong. 
Number three, Trey Parsons. And, uh, pass complete to eight, Jude Armstrong. Kind of flooding the zones and, and then four, Luke Wessel. having him come from uh, the uh, opposite side. They're running four, third, Smith deep and Indian. guy under. They're going to kind of three guys, one deep, one in the middle, and one in the flats. He got about four, so we're looking at third and six. And in the backfield this time will be Ryan Friend. They're going to go trips to the left, it appears, and send a single receiver to the right in the form of Tyson Rodriguez. Carson looks. Rodriguez going deep again. And caught oh, it. Put it right a, into his head. Yes, hands, he did. And Tyson Rodriguez gets into the end zone. What a pass. What a pass. 56-yard touchdown Tyson Rodriguez. pass. Good for the Indians. Trey touchdown. To Tyson Rodriguez. And the Indians are on the scoreboard. But, you know, he put that right on the money. Put that up in the air and let his receiver run underneath it. That's one heck of a throw. That absolutely was. And Wasian's back in the football game with that one. Rodriguez, who just scored, will now do the PAT duties. He's 29 of 32 on the season. Here's our extra point sponsored by Lee Kinsel Sales and Service. After making a long run, he boots the ball through the uprights. 11.44 to go. Wasian's on the board. It's 14-7. Rodriguez. High School Football, WOSN. The free WSN Scores app is the easiest way to follow Back local high school sports. Seven, Brian Brian covers Parker. more schools, more number sports, six, and more Phillips. scores than WSN. Search WSN in the App Store or the Android Play Store. They went 78 yards, six plays, 146 off the clock. And, of course, the big 56-yard touchdown pass to Rodriguez. He will now kick off. He's been a busy man the last minute or so. <laughs> yeah, sure he's probably tired. And he's going to dribble it down the field. Takes that hop. He bounces into the arms oh. of Briston Wise. Yeah, he's, what a good job. He made a man Briston miss Wise there and got an extra return. six yards. Briston Wise will take it up near the Brought 40. Let's see what the Austin spot Kovar. is with 11.38 to go before halftime. And it will put down right Ball's at the 40-yard line, yard line, first and 10 for the Cougars. Pratt will have Brylon Parker on his right hip. See, there's two by two. There's Parker trying to sweep, and he's going to go down in the backfield. Yep. Good That's penetration. Seven, sure Parker was. Great carry. penetration. Xavier Martinez. Mm -hmm. And Justin Duncan Brown, really start that. 14, Xavier Martinez. Martinez gets him down, but Duncan two, was great penetration 12, from his defensive Cougars. line spot. Yep. And wasn't allowed to let Parker any cutback lanes, and... Back to the 38, loss of two, second and 12. Trips right, two receivers to the left. Pratt looks, throws it over the middle. Oh, he had him. Missed his man, yep. Yeah, he upset with himself because he just let that one go a little bit. Maddox Crutchfield's incomplete. The thing I like about it, Crutchfield, by nine, you know, Tyson he's got Rodriguez. great wheels, but he is 6'1", 220. Third and 12 yeah. for the Talk Cougars. about a big, strong, wide receiver. Yeah, and he, he does. He runs. Help. Yes, he runs, and he's strong and he's a very good linebacker and I, I he makes them go on defense too Here we are third and 12. parker again this time on the right hip of pratt crutchfield goes in motion Throws got him again the middle he's got him oh Knocked good loose. job what a play that time defensively by Jude sure Armstrong. Yeah. Strip it loose. He's made a couple big plays back there when he's getting beaten. He's got good closing speed and swiping at the ball. It's tell these guys are coached well by their defensive back coaches to when they do catch it and knock it loose. Garrett Gunter's got 51 catches on the season to lead the team. He's got great hands, and it time he just got stripped loose when he got yeah. there. Yeah, he caught it, and he was trying to tuck in. That same time when he was tucking in, Armstrong just knocked it away. And he did. Here's Steeman to punt again. Flipped a big rush coming that time. Went off the side of his foot. Let's see what kind of hop he gets. And a pretty good one. Number five, Gates so Steeman to punt. will take over. They scored Punters their last possession. 10-49 to ten go here Indians. in our opening half. It's 
So it looks like, I think Wasion's maybe figured out a little bit of this defense, trying to get on the outside, and they like this matchup. They usually go three wide, three on one side, one on the other. They like the single coverage, or they flood the zone. So let's see if they go back to it, Mark. Football's right on the 30-yard line. Isn't that amazing how officials always manage to start uh, a possession right on a yard line? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's nice when we do that, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Here's Trey Parsons in the backfield. Receivers go two by two this time. Parsons will look, look, and... Who snuck oh, under there. Oh, did. not for long, though. Tackled in the backfield by Logan Dotson. Short of the line of scrimmage. That'll go down as a Number three, sack. Trey Parsons yeah. sacked on the play by the Cougars. 53, Jacob Purst. Loss of two on the play. Second and 12 for the Indians. He almost escaped trouble by yeah, stepping I, underneath, but then uh, the next wave came and got him. Uh, here's what they like. They've got three on the strong side and the single guy on the weak side. Let's see if they make him run the go route, and they kind of Parson just throws it up and lets him go get it. Logan Carroll's in the backfield. Man in motion this time is Smith. There's the out pass, and that's a nice throw. It's caught yep. out here by Tyson Rodriguez. Number three, Trey try to, pass try to make a move, but I don't know if the ground's a little bit uh, moist tonight or what, because that he is every bit of the third or fourth guy to slip tonight. Yeah, that getting, time of year, you get yeah, that dew right. on the grass. And that, right, yeah, well, time of year. and week 11, it's, you know, the field looks great for yeah. considering it's week 11. A lot of games have been played on here. You know, could, not be, only, could be third and about three. Logan Carroll was in the backfield. Parsons changing the play. Receivers are two by two. Here's Smith in motion again. He looks at Smith, and then there's a quick pass, and oh. it's not going to get there. Yeah, nothing. Great job by McCracken. Came in there and cleaned that one up. Number three, Trey Parsons. They were hoping the defense would yeah. follow Smith as he went Armstrong. in motion. And well, the Cougars were ready for that. We lost a couple, actually, back Pratt to the 35. 23, Damon McCracken. Loss of two on the play, fourth and five for the Indians. So three punts. Number and nine, now Tyson punt Rodriguez four. in the punt. Good got punt it. this time, yeah. Crutchfield's going to let it hit. And it takes a little bit of a hop in favor of the Indians, and the uh, Cougars will get the ball with 8.40 to go. Punt is down right around the 27-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Cougars. We're watching this for our oh, first replay of this particular game. It's on Saturday evening and Sunday evening. And Kara gets a pair of girls' soccer matches. One of them, you know, a little bit about. That yeah. will be the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Yes, sir. They're in district final action. The boys' Division Three soccer action as well. Both of those are on Sunday afternoon, late evening, late afternoon, early evening. Next week, we've got uh, more soccer, and we've got regional volleyball coming up next weekend as well, as well as playoff football on Friday night next week. Just wait and see who wins and where we're going to head with the WSN cameras and crew. Pratt alone in the backfield. Quick pass, and it goes right through the hands of Nate Phillips. Number 15, Aiden Pratt's pass intended for six. Nate Phillips is incomplete. And Nate Phillips wanted to run with that one before he caught it. It's going right through his Saint hands. Smith. Second and 10 for the Cougars. Nate Phillips, 29 catches, 445 yards and five scores this year. Back to the line of scrimmage they go at the 27-yard line, second and 10. Parker on the hip of Pratt. And he will roll left this time. Oh, and what a play. Fumble or, or incompletion? Yep. I think they're going to call a fumble. And we got number 15, Aiden Pratt. going to be calling a fumble. Play. Great hustle, great hustle by number 51, Chance Snow, who was taking on two blockers, and he just kept working, kept working, and kind of got to the arm of Pratt and knocked it loose. Great individual effort by Snow there. Yeah, he was trying to get out. I thought he was trying to unload it, and he just couldn't get his arm in a position to do that. Indians so they're take over get at the 28-yard 20 20, line, first and 10. On the 23-yard line. Snow was just doing like a bull rush and just kind of went through two guys and Parker was kind of there to chip on him and he went through both those guys and got to Pratt. That a heck of an effort by Snow. It certainly was. Ryan Friend in the backfield along with Parsons. 
This will be Friend. He's trying to get wide. He's got a little bit of room around left end. He'll be dragged down when he got close to the 15-yard line, but a nice run on first down. Ryan Friend on the carry. Yeah, surprised Carson Smith. not only the uh, Cougar defense, but everyone sitting yeah, around us. That, that might have been their first run with uh, Parsons as a quarterback. They ran some back before when they were doing the Wildcat, but not many. Friend got eight on first down. Yeah. Second and two from the 15. Friend stays in the backfield. And Parsons will throw. Guns it over the middle where it's caught. To see who pops is that Smith, I believe. I believe so, yes, sir. Three Trey Parsons is passed complete to 11, Sam Smith. That will be a first down. down by 11, Maddox Crossfield. Indian. plays for good yeah, for Indian. What a luxury to get that big guy just to stand there in the middle of the zone. And, you know, he's 6'4, big body, can catch, he's got great hands. The football is just inside the 10 yard line, so they cannot get a first down. Yeah. Smith in motion again. There's a handoff, friend. And right. he got to the nine, and that's about it. I believe that's Actually, Kessler. Yeah, it was not friend. It was 34, wasn't it? Yeah, Kessler. Kessler, Kessler yep. Yeah. You know. 34, not 24. Yep. Yeah. Smith, who's built like, you know, First back on the play by before everybody was spread, no tight ends. He's, he's like the prototypical the high school tight end right there. That he is. He's on the uh, right side of the formation this time. So is Ethan Borton. And two receivers go to the left side. Second and nine. Going to roll right. Quick throw. It's caught and immediately a tackle. The ball went to Jude Armstrong and he was hit three, immediately three by Luke Wessel. Wessel. Yeah. Complete to eight, Jude Armstrong. Good job by Wessel. Yes, it was. Wessel. He broke on that play. Third and goal for the Indians. Very fast. Football is between the uh, seven and eight yard line. So not much of a gain that time. Sure, coach says Sean Moore wants a six out of this, but Tyson Rodriguez is four of six on field goal attempts this year. As long as 43 yards. So he can wheel one here if necessary, but they're looking at six. Yep. And we have six minutes to go in our opening half. Play clock running down. I don't know. I, they might, I think they might be go timeout here, maybe. And yeah, I think coach is running down, wanting timeout, yep. Well, he was yelling for it. Did he get it? Yeah, he, he got it. He yeah. got it, yeah. Yep. Timeout, Sean Moore and Wasiab. When we come back, they'll be third and seven. You're watching High School Before Football the play WSN. Expired, first. We're back at Edgar Stadium here at Van Wert, the Wasion Indians looking at third and seven. I'm gonna knock this one up after the fumble recovery. Yeah. They can get a score and a PAT and make it a brand new football game. What an answer by the Indians who, you know, that first quarter, it was looking pretty grim for them, but they've uh, answered here in this second quarter, knocking on the door, getting close to tying this one up. Rodriguez goes in motion to make it trip. Here's a lot uh -oh. in the end zone. And is intercepted. Off, yep. It is. Smith, great read. It is. Carson Picked Smith, yeah. Carson yep. Smith, good call, Scott. He was safety, and I think intercepted by the Cougars, number two, Parsons. Trey Smith. Parsons kind of looked him, um, looked at him too much, and Smith just read his eyes and one picked that one off. Great job by the defense from the Cougars. That it was in zone. The, the interception. Hey fans, in here's zone. an update on the mega jackpot we'll tonight. Bring that one out. The totals currently sitting at exactly twenty-five thousand oh! dollars. Put the football right on the 20 yard line. Actually, it's. So, what's this? We've got a penalty on top of that? Yeah, I, I think so. All the way to the 35 yeah. yard line. A couple of the players were arguing with the officials over there. I didn't see a flag being thrown, but must have been. Yeah, I didn't see the flag either, but I could see the mark off. And out yeah. to the 35 yard line to begin this possession with 5.43 to go, second quarter. Pratt fakes a handoff and goes off right tackle. Pratt lowers his head and Number gets about eight yards. Pratt on the keeper. Brought down by 52, Justin Duncan. 
three-yard line. He's probably leading the team in rushing, I believe, so far tonight. Two for the Cougars. Back to the line of scrimmage they go, second and two. This time it's Parker. And he has got a big run, and he is inside. Number in seven, Brian Parker on the carry. They were doing a good job Robert bottling him up early, Ethan and Burton it's just a matter of time before he can break into the opening. And he runs so hard, he's just hard to get down on the first guy. To, to the Indian 42. Good defensive play that yep. time. Pratt had nowhere to throw it. But he's going to dance around and power forward and pick up some yardage yeah. anyway. Number 15, oh. Aiden Pratt on the carry. <laughs> Xavier Martinez jumped the route. Pratt was smart enough to see it. Tucked it and ran. Yeah. First hit on the play by 61, Alden Leiner. And still got six yards, yes, but he did. how quickly they get to the line Aiden of scrimmage. Six, second and four for the Ball Cougars. set, and at the, they're at the line within five to ten seconds. From the 36-yard line, second down and four. Pratt, well, we got a flag. What's this about? Procedure penalty. Yeah, number penalty six. The play goes against the Cougars for false start. That'll take it back to the 41-yard line. Five-yard penalty, second and nine. Changes the situation to second and nine. Adam Parker sets up on the left hip of Aiden Pratt. Pratt rolls, looks, throws, caught. That time the catch was made by Connor Campbell. He loses his helmet. Pratt's pass complete to three, Connor Campbell. And that will be a first down. Ran out of bounds by 14, Xavier Martinez. I'm, I think if that rule's two, still in effect, he loses his helmet, he's got to come out for a play here. He does. It takes it to the 29, so they picked up 12 and a first down. Parker. No, I think Pratt kept it. Pulled it back out. Number 15, Aiden Pratt on the keeper. It was. Stuck yeah. it in the belly and <laughs> pulled it right back out. Pulled it right back out again. That makes Parker a blocker in kind yeah. of situation. A little lead block. Brought down by 34, Zayden Kessler. Picked up a couple to the 27. This will be in play two, number second eight six for the Cougars. This drive. Get to feel the coach record would like to score with just a little bit of time left uh, on the clock. I think so. Take the momentum into halftime. I would agree with you. Obviously, he wants to score one way or the other. Right. Here's Pratt to throw. And oh, he's got, to, he's got a wide open left side to run and oh, he slips slipped. down inside yep. the 20. 15, he had to cut back. On the keeper. Brought down by 10, Austin that Kovar. Will be another first Result down. Is good for another Cougar. First down. And he gets it to about the 11, I believe, is going to be the mark. And unlike Wasian the last time, they can get a first down without scoring a touchdown. Here's Pratt again. He'll hand off to Parker up the middle this time. Downs to the left side. And still running. It's Number seven, Brian Parker the on the carry. Five yard line. Good job of gang tackling for him. He's he's such a hard guy to get. Brought down by 12, down. Braylon Miller. 15, 5 11, Ethan 190 Horton. pound back with good feet. Gain of six, second and four for the Cougars. Football is right on the 10 yard line. And I don't know, they just sent Smith to the sidelines. I don't know if yeah. if they're saying something or what. Mouthpiece equipment issues, I don't know. I just seen one of the officials point to the sidelines and he had to take off. I wonder if there's been some chirping going on. Yeah, might be. Let's go cool down for a play or something, I right. wonder. That's just pure speculation from our vantage point here high above the field. Parker off right side this time, and Powers inside the five. Number seven, Brylon Parker on the carry. Down, down to down about 14, the two. Xavier Martinez. Looks like a first and goal. Cougar. Yeah, we'll first do that. Time. Falls on the three-yard line, according to the scoreboard. We'll go with that. And not able to get to the end zone that time. Number seven, Brylon Parker on the carry. Lost a three back to looks like the five-ish. First in on the play by 33, play Logan we'll Carroll. Second and goal for the Cougars. This will be play number 10 of this drive. We're approaching 100 seconds to go before the band show. Pratt alone in the backfield this time on second down and five. 
And he will keep it himself. And this time they get him at about the four. Number 15, Aiden Pratt on the keeper. Interesting to see. Brought down by 51, Chance Snow. Trying to get up the middle, and the goal for Indians Cougars. are doing a great job bottling that up. So we'll see if they try to get one of those speed receivers on the outside on a quick, like maybe a jet sweep or a um, quick screen pass. Pratt's back, and Crutchfield look. And he will look and oh, pitch it inside yep. to Crutchfield. Yep. Touchdown. Wait, there yep. he goes, looking for the number 15. The there it pass is. Pass complete to 11. Maddox Crutchfield. Short little good pass for the Cougar. To Touchdown. He scores. Great job. What a great play design because they've ran Pratt for a couple touchdowns already, and then everybody went to him, and he just shoveled it to Crutchfield and got in. Four-yard touchdown pass with just 57 seconds to go here before halftime. Extra points today are brought to you by Lee Kinsel on Irwin Road here in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. Here's McCracken to try the PAT, his third effort here in the opening half. He's made 53 of 61 in the regular season and... Kicks that one to the netting, the extra and point is it will good be 21-7 David McCracken. in favor of the Cougars. In my play sheet here, Scott, that was an 11-play drive. As we they just went been informed that there's a 2022 yards. Black Ford Explorer. Explorer. And they license took plate JSS 8029. The Your clock, running lights so are on. Just under five 2022 minutes. Black Ford Explorer. License plate JSS 8029. Your lights are on. Wasion uh, effort here with just 57 seconds to go. Scott, this is really kind of important for them because they get to football first. Right. In the second half, if they could put some numbers up, uh, you know, right here, they've got a chance to, you know, get back in the football game with the opening possession of the half. Yeah, I was I mean, tell you what, what a big play that uh, Carson Smith made there, right? Because they were close to tying this up. He makes a great read and gets the interception and then uh, flips it. You know, it could have been 14-14, but instead it's 21-7. 57 seconds left to get a stop and go in the halftime with all the momentum. But you're right, it's a, it's huge for Wasion. If they can get a quick score here in, and uh, they get the ball back first coming out. Wasion Indians do have two timeouts remaining. They have a score on a 56-yard touchdown pass. That went from Trey Parsons. Tyson Rodriguez, so they'll be looking for some quick strike offense here. He must try to penalty against yeah. the Cougars penalty in there somewhere. Yeah. The extra point goes against the Cougars for unsportsmanlike yeah. conduct. I, I think we've got some jaw going yeah, on I down think in so the field, too. and they're trying to get Number that. Number 23, Damon yeah. Stockton will because be that off. certainly helps Wasion in this effort to get another touchdown. Yeah, it sure does. Shoot Armstrong back deep yeah. for the Indians. Now that, you know, come 25. Go ahead. It's probably what you were right then. then why those guys were getting sent off, and then they said, "Okay, we've warned you enough. Now we're going penalties." Here's McCracken will do the kickoff duties. This is one of the few times in my life I'm pretty sure he's not going to onside kick. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pretty risky, I would think. <laughs> Here's McCracken. See what kind of leg he gets into this one this time. And he has a good one. He's going to sail down to the arms of Jude Armstrong. Here's Armstrong. Got some blockers. He does, and tries to get up to the sideline, and we'll go down. We got a flag behind the play. Number eight, Close to the 45 Armstrong yard the line. Let's see what the penalty is. Brought down by nine, Colin Haggerty. There's a penalty marker on the play. Hold. Yep. Looking for a. Yeah, there's a signal right there. So the. That, uh, penalties, penalties kind of against, against each the other in yes, they do. a good starting field position. Now they're happy with the back judge. They weren't so, they weren't so happy with him earlier about 20 minutes ago. We're going to take this back to the 35-yard line. In the backfield will be Ryan Friend along with Trey Parsons. Looks like we got trips to the left and single receiver to the right. Rush three and drop eight into coverage. Here comes a blitz off the edge. Right here, right and Parsons is going to throw and throw it incomplete. 
Trying to find Ethan Borton. Three, Trey Parsons is passed, intended for 15. Ethan so Borton's incomplete. incomplete. Defended by four, Luke Had him Russell. a little bit, but he had some uh, guys coming after him. He just, it's tough to do when you're th running for your uh, safety and trying to hit a receiver coming back. You don't know kind of where he's going to hit it, and you don't want to throw it too hot and get it intercepted. 40 seconds to go. Incompletion saved a timeout, but didn't pick up any yardage. Parsons takes the snap and will roll left this time. Pressure by Pratt. And was that caught on the far side of the field? Or Jude yeah, Armstrong they're call was him, over yeah. there. To eight, Jude Armstrong. So completion to Armstrong. Tackle by 28, Reese Crew. And the clock continues to run. Gain of three, third get out of bounds for the, the sliding catch. Yeah. So it looks like uh, Wasion maybe will be content to go into halftime. I don't know if they run a play here. They yeah, do not, they do you don't not have, have to. to. Yep. yep. Will be the final play of the half, barring penalty. Parsons roll, snap throw. That's caught by Rodriguez, three, and three, Rodriguez Parsons gets pass. chased out of bounds. Nine, Tyson Rodriguez, and that will bring half Ran number one to an end. Crew, that play As will we end go to the halftime break. It will be Van Wert 21, Wasion 7. You're watching high school football, WOSN. Second half action about to begin from Van Wert, where tonight our scoreboard is sponsored by Kitchens Incorporated in Van Wert. They have GE appliances and specialize in all your kitchen and bathroom remodeling needs. Stop in and call Shay today for a free estimate at 419-238-5650. Mark Shine, Scott Mag. Scott, kind of interested to see how the second half plays out here because Wasion gets the football first. Yeah, and I think it's gonna be it's gonna be really a big possession for them. And you know, it sounds cliche, right? But down 21-7, I think Van Wert's kind of figured out their defense the last time they went right down the field, and, and they they mixed, it was mostly runs and mixed in a few passes. Uh, I think they know that, I think they got that defensive line to be a little bit softer. I also think Van Wert's pace is work, is really trying on Wasion, right? It's, it, it's not necessarily physical. It's just how quickly mentally you have to be locked in because they are on the ball. They spot it. And within five seconds, they're up, almost ready to snap it. So you have to understand what your call is defensively, and you have to be so locked in mentally that I think that kind of wore on them late in that second quarter. Van Wert scored at 449 mark of the opening quarter. They went uh, 31 yards, eight plays. Pratt ran it in from eight yards out. Then they had a, just a very short drive, a 16-yard touchdown drive. And Pratt ran that one in from five yards out. Wasion struck back. They went 78 yards in six plays. Big play, and that was a 56-yard touchdown pass to Rodriguez. It would be Tyson Rodriguez. That made it 14 Picking off of the Cougars seven. is number 23, Damon And then, McCracken. as Scott just said, 11-play drive, 65 yards. Took almost five eight, minutes Jude off the Armstrong clock by Van Wert. For the Indians. The McCracken PAT made it 21-7. That's where we're at right now as we begin the third 12-minute session. Here's McCracken to kick off. And he's been normally kicking it over Smith's head. We'll see if they continue to go that. Get Smith running backwards instead of coming forward. And it's been working out well for the Cougars so far. Sam Smith is in the far left corner at the top of your screen. He wears number 11. That one is headed in his direction again. And he fields it uh, right about the 15-yard line and tries to run it to this side of the field. He's got room to run. Here's Smith, and he gets dumped before he gets to the 38 yard, uh, 40 yard line. Number 11, Sam Smith McCracken. on the return. Yeah, but the difference between that well, one and the, the previous two McCracken. or three is Mc, is uh, Smith had to run back to get the ball. This one, he had to come in and got a good, good head of steam, and he got all the way up to the 37 yard line there. You know, sometimes your kicker is 150 pound soccer players. <laughs> not, not in this case. <laughs> no. Ball's at the he's a linebacker. He's a linebacker. He can linebacker tackle. He can tackle. He can just yeah. tackle right there. Right. And he's like, okay, I, I, I uh, like contact. The quarterback is Trey Parsons. He wears number three. He is a 6'2 junior. In the backfield along with him will be Ryan Friend, who wears number 24 and trips to the left. This will be Friend. 
He runs right into the hands of number 54, and that's Logan Thompson. 24, Ryan Friend on the carry. Brought down by 53, Jacob Schurst, and 54, Logan Dotson. Yeah, they uh, they read that one pretty well, didn't they? Right back to the 37. No gain on the play, second, second and 10. 10 for the Indians. But I, I like the play call because they, I think they got to establish, you know, they don't have to run the ball, but they got at least, uh, they have to let make Van Wern honor the run. On the season, Ryan Friend is a leading ball carrier with just 184 rushing yards. Three down lineman this time. And there's some pressure off the edge as well. And he oh, skates. Parson got to wave, get away from it. He's very good at ducking under the tackle. This is the second or third time he's done that tonight. The keeper. Crutchfield was able to bring him Brought down, down by but 11, not until he got a first down at 13, midfield. Ash Bear. This all plays good for an Indians first down. Right to midfield. Good scramble effort that time by Trey Parsons. You know, I, I looked at his stat numbers, and my guess is his rushing numbers are low because the sacks come yeah, off of his yeah, rushing yards. Absolutely. Because he has some wheels where he can get loose. Yes, sir. And he, and he did a good job. He's a good pocket awareness there to duck underneath the would-be tackler and gain positive yardage. Parsons to throw. Snap pass out. This is caught right in front of us by Jude, Jude Armstrong. Pass and he is brought down Jude immediately Armstrong. by Wessel. Brought down by four, Luke Wessel. Good job. This is, this is the second or third time that Wessel has closed on the uh, reception. So, uh, Just a single yard pickup. So yeah. So not much right. there with how quickly he got out there to make the play. And not only that, but he got there and he got him to the ground. You know, I mean, a lot of times defensive backs are get there, but he's strong enough to get the guy onto the ground. So that was impressive by Wessel. That he is. Receivers go two by two this time until Smith goes in motion. Four-man rush. This is Smith catching it in space. And he's going to go down rather quickly on the, the far side of the field by Aaron Dowdy. Smith. Brought down by 28, Reese Crew. Gain of one, third and, and seven for the Indians. 47-yard line. So picked up just a couple on that one. They're looking at third and seven. Good job by Crew to get out there and make that tackle. Trips to the right for Trey Parsons this time. And that pass is knocked away. Yeah. Good defense there. Number three, yeah. Trey Parsons pass. I think complete. that was McCracken, wasn't it? Tipped and knocked no, down. No, I think it was by uh, Parker. And Parker was there, too. So that will fall incomplete. What do you think? Is it gamble time? Near midfield, trailing uh, yeah. by 14. Fourth down and seven for the It's Indians. awful risky. I, I, I would probably punt it away, but... Again, I'm yeah. Yep, yeah, I think that, yeah. Unit in. Just because, just because there's still a lot of game left. It does make sense, right? Down 14. Don't got anything to lose, but this offense is too potent to give. Rod, Rodriguez going to punt it uh, towards McCracken, and uh, who else is back here? Parker. Parker in uh, Crutchfield, I believe. Crutchfield, yeah. you're right. It is. That's going to go right to Crutchfield. <laughs> Crutchfield. We'll get it up near the 32-yard line. That's a good Number return 11, Maddox for him. Yes. on the return. You know, he don't dance around too much. He catches it and goes straight up field. So. 59, Avery Coronado. So Van Wert's second possession, or first possession of second half, I should say. We'll begin on their own 31-yard line. Ball's on the 31-yard line. First and 10 for the Cougars. What kind of adjustments Coach Recker came up with at halftime and see what he wants to come out doing with the football. I think they found something a little bit with the run. See if they come out and try to establish that run a little bit more uh, starting out here in the second half. Pratt will keep it and go up the middle. Yep. Not much room for him to run on that play. No, and that's kind of how the, the, the beginning of the game started too. I like... They fake to Parker, and he goes behind him. First hit on the play by 34, Zayden Kessler. Uh, just waiting. Maybe they're setting up something to two, maybe hand it off to him years. on that jet sweep to get on the outside because they ran that play several times, and, and Pratt's went up the middle. 
Quick pass out this time as he finds Nate Phillips this time. Phillips has got room to run before he gets knocked out of bounds by Number Smith. 15, he will pick up the first pass down. Pass the six, Nate Phillips. Ran out of bounds by 11, Sam Smith. The zone play is good for a it's Cougar. About first the 43 down. yard line. That would be a 10 yard pickup and a first down to the 43. Same formation, trips right, two receivers left. But if you, you know, there's passes, but quick outs, little short passes, runs. I think earlier in the game, they were trying to hit them deep. Parker goes in motion, they fake it to him again. Blitz up the middle, he gets away from the first guy. And Pratt's gonna run for the sideline and get chased out oh. of bounds, and that will be a flag. Yeah. Definitely out of bounds. But yeah. Pratt on the keeper. Justin Duncan just over pursued a Pratt bit. Out of bounds by number 52, yeah. Justin Duncan. There's a penalty marker on the play. Justin Duncan! So the, he was going to get back to the line of scrimmage perhaps a yard or yeah. two, the Indians, but the penalty is going to take foul, it hit out of bounds. It's That's good hustle by Duncan. He just, you know, <laughs> He steps away, you almost miss him. You're running, trying to make a play for your teammate. It just doesn't so happen and happen to be too far out of bounds. This will take it to the 43 of the Indians and result in a first down. Pratt looks and fakes a pass and up the oh, middle he goes. He's got a lot of room to run. Sure does. Good tackle. You number mentioned 15, the block. That Pratt block on the came keeper. from number a 55 that time, Jackson by Jones. by Logan Carroll. Yeah. All the and also Caleb Bell Bledsoe, 65. They both were tag team in that middle linebacker and uh, leading the way. It was a good job by those linemen to get 5, 10 yards down the field, too. Who says linemen can't be athletic? Oh, how about that? We're going to talk about those people as soon as this play comes to an end. Pratt throws it over the there middle. There he is, wide open. And wide open in the middle of the field, and he number gets his Nate Phillips. Number 15, pass completes him. Number 6, Nate Phillips. Good for the Cougar Cup, and 30 yards out. Yeah, it looks like the defensive backs, two for Wasion, are kind of arguing. I don't know if that was a, a busted uh, coverage there because one thought maybe a zone and one stayed with a man. Point after point, point after touchdown. Sponsored tonight by Lee Kinsel Sales and Service on Urban Road here in Van Wert. Take a look at pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. Sixth touchdown catch of the year by Phillips. Here's the PAT attempt. Into the netting behind. That's the point is up and good by 23, David McCracken. You're watching high school football on WSN. Denver Cougars, five plays, 69 yards. Great Took a minute Armstrong seven off the clock. For the and Indians. this one, a 30-yard touchdown pass from Aiden Pratt to Phillips. Just looking at my stat page here. That means 34 touchdown passes on the season for Aiden Pratt. Here's the Kraken to do the kickoff duties after making the PAT a moment ago. And, you know, we touched on this earlier. They, they play so fast. That puts the pressure on the defense. And I think they, with them two defensive backs kind of arguing at the end. They didn't get on the same page, and if you're not on the same page, Van Wert makes you pay. And we're going to get a little pushing and shoving out of number bounds. Number 11, Sam yeah, Smith on the return. Getting, well, Sian, people want ran out of bounds by number two, two Carson field. Smith. Right. They're going to get it. Yeah, and, the, and even the players and some of the officials kind of looked at him like, you know, you better uh, be quiet, young man, or. But we'll be right on the 30-yard line. You know, we kind of touched on it right before the, the kickoff or during the kickoff is the speed. And again, the uh, ball spotted just outside the 30 yard line. First and 10 for the Indians. Well, Sian's well, going to need the answer soon. Yeah, and they're getting frustrated because yeah. the pace and things ain't going their way. And, you know, they had a late hit out of bounds and they wanted one there. And, you know, they just got to stop worrying about the officials and play the game. Receivers go two by two this time for Trey Parsons. Smith in motion. And he's going to chuck it deep. And Wessel's out here in a little bump and run coverage with Jude Armstrong. Yeah. And it's going to fall incomplete. 
Number three, Trey Parsons. Was great, great uh, defense there by Wessel. I, he was Defended step for step. Four, he was right Luke on Wessel. him. Second and ten for the Indians. Yeah, I think that's one of the plays, Scott, where both crowds wanted to fly. Yeah, absolutely. You know? uh, yeah, right. And, and you may have could have caught on both of them, yeah. but uh, you know. It's good no call when you got absolutely guys hand fighting all the way down the field yes. like that. Good no call. Second and ten from the thirty. Maybe you've noticed this officiating crew has a few years' experience. <laughs> I think they know what they're doing yeah. out here. They've seen a few of those, haven't yeah. they? Here's Parsons to throw. Yeah. And steps up and throws. This is Smith. Wessel trying to get loose on the block. Smith eventually is going to be brought down. A good tackle out here in open space by oh. Ashton Bayer. What a great play number design three, there, Parsons I tell you. Pass complete uh, to number 11, Sam Smith. Sm Sam Smith, man, he did a good job and two, running through Smith. people. Like, give that guy credit. He's not Indian giving up and down. running hard and trying to make a play for his team. 25-yard pickup to first down to the Cougar 45-yard line. Russell was trying to fight off a block and couldn't. Yeah. Right. Tell you, I really like Sam Smith. He's I, he's not a bad player, I tell you. Big, strong kid. Yes, he is. Wheels. Yes, sir. He plays well on defense, too. Yes, he does. This will be a handoff friend, and friend will fall forward to about the 42-yard line. 24, Ryan Friend on the and carry. He might have got himself a little bit farther. He kind of got Tripped his up by number 30, Aaron feet tied up with his offensive lineman there. A good Gain of three, second good job by blocking of those uh, linemen up front. Sion Indians came in at six and four. They were four and three in the NWOAL. And what was nine and one, eight and one in the Western Buckeye League. Sion will go trips left and the single receiver to our side of the field. And that single receiver is Smith. There's Parsons to throw. And he's running out of space in real estate and throws it to the sidelines. And the closest receiver was Keith Rector. Number three, Trey Parsons pass <laughs> out of bounds incomplete. I think he is used Good pressure on the play there by 55. I think Jackson so too. Jones. But he was still happy about the uh, yeah. great play by his uh, defensive lineman there running him out. Fans wanted a uh, intentional grounding, but they don't. As soon as you get out of the pocket in high school, you can throw wherever you want. It's got to just got to get past the line of scrimmage. Yeah. And sure enough, it was well past the line of scrimmage there. Third and seven from the Cougar 42 yard line. Moore gets to play in from the sideline. Play clock winding down, and just do get it off. Yep. Parsons pressured, pressured, and throws it again. Good defensive pressure up yep. front. Three, Trey Parsons that pass was going out of bounds. 55 Jones was after him. Yeah, I tell you, those, pressure those front four guys Jackson are they're kind of wearing them out now, and they're just pinning the their ears back and, and uh, flushing – Parsons out of the pocket. Looks like they're going to go for it. Of course, they, yeah. the ball was on the right hash, so when he rolled right, he did not have a lot of room. And I think they're going to go for it here on fourth and seven, trailing by 21 points. Let's see if those front four, you know, it's great that they can, they can get that amount of rush from the front four guys and yeah. drop seven into coverage, and that's giving Parsons all kinds of trouble. Here's the Cougar defensive fans have come alive on our side of the field. Parsons is going to roll left this time. And looks and looks and almost got to him. There's a pass to the end zone and everybody missed it. Yeah. Number three, Trey that Parsons fall is incomplete for and we have Armstrong an injured. Yeah, we do. Defended by two, Carson Smith. Right at about the 30-yard line. The Indians line. will turn it over on downs. And uh, while they deal with the injured player, we're going to take a break. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Then where Cougars held on a fourth down, they will get the ball on their own 42-yard line. The injured player was Tyson Rodriguez, and he had to have help to get off the field, and it did not look like an injury he could return from this evening. We hope he is and well for the junior. They're one short here, too, by the way. I don't, I don't count 10 guys out here. That is correct. We're going to play short guy. Not a good idea with Pratt throwing no. to the end zone. And... Out there trying to make a play on the football was Connor Campbell. Number 15, Aiden Got Pratt's lucky pass, there. Intended for three, Connor Campbell's incomplete. Oh, incomplete. 
Defended by eight, Jude Armstrong. That ball went Second about 10 50 for the plus in the air. Yes. He's got an arm on him. He sure does. And Wasion finally gets number 10, Austin Kavar on. Second and 10 from their own 42 yard line. Showing blitz. Parker runs to about the 45. Number seven, Brylin Parker on the carry. Yeah, he's getting close. Right? He's bouncing off those tackles and almost, you Broke know, you can tell these guys are getting tired and, you know, it's going to be long. He's going to he's gonna bounce outside and it's going to be a 30, 40 yard gain. Devin Story, Jacob Geething, Caleb Bledsoe, Logan Dotson, Jackson Jones. That's that offensive line up front. Third and seven. Pratt runs right. Pratt will get close to the first down. He got over the 50. Let's see what the mark is. They're going to put it at the 48, which will be really close. On the keeper. Fourth Run and down by 14, half a yard, Martinez. looks like. Maybe 49. It's probably a yard. Fourth and one for the Cougars. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. They're going to go for it. Pratt will hand off. Parker. First down yardage. Number seven, Brian Brian Parker. Parker on the carry. Quick hitter, get you set yep. before you're set to defend it. Yeah, and you, and you, you know, Brought down by 34. Parker is just Kessler. so, he Dolphins runs so hard. <laughs> you know, the play before, Pratt ran eight yards and they're maybe keying on him and you go to Parker. Quick pass out, it's caught on the far side of the field. And brought down after Number 15, Aiden game. Pratt's pass completes a 10, Garrett Gunter. Gunter, makes Gunter loses his hat. It looks like he'll have to come out of play. Brought down by 52, Justin Duncan. Ball gets put down. Gain of seven, like second and three for the Cougars. The 35. Off the 37, look at a seven yard pickup. Look into the play call to sideline. Yep. Still 10 seconds left on the play clock. Still after getting the player in late. It's how quickly they get up to the line of screens. Oh, yeah, got a movement. Got a movement. Yeah, everybody moved. Yeah. Penalty marker on the play. And that will go against. Van Penalty Wood. goes against the Cougars for a false start. So let me ask this, Mark. If Five they got a penalty, penalty on the play, does could uh, Gunther come back in? I think the time has to go off the clock. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't know. Well, time does come off because it was a running well, clock, so I don't know. What do I know? Not much. <laughs> Just ask my wife. She'll tell you the same yeah, thing. Well, we, we've all been that way before. So. <laughs> all right. It's, we're looking at second and eight. Pratt to throw. And he's going to throw oh. up to the end zone. He's got crutch field, and it bounces yeah. off the two defenders. That took a long time to get there. He had him, but a uh, great job. But uh, Borton 11, came up. from his uh, right short side defensive back position broken and knocked that one 15, away. Ethan Borton. Martinez was a primary third coverage, down and eight but you're right. He came off and just went after the football. And, sure did. Yeah, now it goes to third down and a lengthy seven. Yeah. I think Pratt would like to have that one back. Maybe put a little bit too much air under it. Pratt in the backfield along with Parker. This will be Pratt rolling left. Throws. Caught out here by Phillips. And Phillips gets pushed out of bounds by Smith. Number 15, Aiden Pratt's pass you know, complete to number first six, down here. Nate Phillips. That it is. Ran out of bounds by 11, Sam Smith. His all play is good for a Cougar. Down to the 31-yard line. We're looking at about a five-minute drive right here so far, and this will be play eight in this drive. Is there still need to run out on the field to get the uh, whatever the black yeah, towel or something? Yeah, right there. Right there yeah. I think there's a young lady who's been assigned to go get it. She's a little hesitant. <laughs> I, don't, Parker. I don't blame her. And he keeps chugging away and chugging keeps away. Keeps those legs moving. Yeah, seven, Brylin Parker on the carry. And there she goes. It's good hustle. And <laughs> she's going to make it. Good job. Brought down by 14, Xavier Martinez. Hand yeah. from the crowd. Doesn't In a five, she, second sure five should. for the Cougars. Great hustle. Yep, to the 26-yard line. They got five on that one, second down. 
some of the run you're talking about with Parker. Yeah, and he runs so hard, yeah, right? 195, he, wearing him down. Yeah, well, not only that, but he's he normally doesn't come down on the first contact. You just take two guys, second, third contact. He just runs through people. Crack the throw. Looks, gets flushed out of the pocket now. Makes the first guy miss, heads for the sideline, and jets out of bounds. Yep. Number 15, Aiden Pratt on the keeper. <laughs> so... It's got to be so disheartening for the defensive lineman to crumbing up there. He's like, oh, I got a free shot of the quarterback, and he puts a Dina juke two, move on me and runs out of bounds, and I sh darn it. Well, he's 6'4", he's 205, yeah. <laughs> making moves on you, too. Right, it's, right. It's not like a, a, a small little back type. Yeah, right. Got that one to the 24-yard line, so he picked up a couple. Third and three. And he will roll left this time. Here's a snap throw out. This one also is caught by Phillips. The Phillips is inside the 10-yard yeah. line. 15, Aiden Pratt's pass completes to Nate Phillips. It's like about the eight, I think. Brought down yeah, by 14, is. Xavier Martinez. His all play is good for a Cougar. Pick up a 16 to the eight. Dangerous territory here if you're a Wauseon fan. It's been a really nice drive yeah. so far. This will be play number 11 in the drive. Pratt will keep it. And this time he will go down. First contact came. Number 15, from Aiden Pratt Snow. on the keeper. Yeah. He's been he's had himself a heck of a game. We haven't called his number, Brought but he's 51, he's been in the backfield Snow. all night. He's playing his tail off. Second and goal for the Cougars. Scoreboard says no gain. Second and goal from the eight. Drive began back on their own 42 yard line. It's approaching a four minute drive here. Actually approaching a five-minute drive. Here's Pratt going left. Throws it to the end zone. That one will fall incomplete and stop the clock. Number 15, Aiden Pratt's pass intended for Good six. Pressure. Nate Phillips is incomplete. Defended by 11, Sam Smith. Aiden Third and goal for the Cougars. Leininger was in there on for the pressure and made Pratt get rid of that before he wanted to. It was just so how quick he gets. That was a sidearm little sling and it went 20 yards and on a, on a line there. That was, not many guys can do that. McCracken has made a 23-yard field goal this year. I'm sure that Coach Recker would prefer to put seven on the board, but he has that weapon in his back pocket as well. On third down, Pratt rolls right. Here's a throw that's out. It's caught by Parker. Did he get to the end zone? He did. Yeah, good. What an athletic play that was. He just ran right through the tackle and he tiptoed around that pylon in there. That's, that was impressive. That certainly was. Made sure he got his foot down in the end zone before he went out of bounds. See him dance around the pylon over there. So with 59 seconds to go, it's 34-7 now. And we're looking at another Lee Kinsel extra point. Extra points are brought to you by Lee Kinsel on Irwin Road. In Van Word, take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. There's the Kraken's PAT attempt. And he boots that one. He missed it to the left that the extra time. Points so up it will and stay left. at 34-7 with 59 Fans, seconds please to go here your attention before to the, press box where Mitch the end of this particular we'll draw quarter. 50 -50 winning ticket. Some quick figuring, Scott. That was a 13-play drive. Uh, they took uh, 12 seconds short of six minutes off the clock. So a really nice drive that time. Yeah, and Van Orts kind of forcing their will on them. They're mixing in the pass and the run, and you know they're taking the their shots deep and they're, zero, and they're running one, hard. Six, it's that was a three, five, demoralizing three. drive. Zero, TD one, forty-four six, and WS Center nine profitable organizations supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day, and you can visit WTLW.com. So Van Wert has stretched it to 34-7 with a pair of touchdowns here in this quarter. And with just 59 seconds to go in the quarter, Wasion will get another opportunity. Of course, now they're missing one of their playmakers there. Yes. And then number nine, Tyson Rodriguez. Number 23, Rodriguez. Damon McCracken kicking off. He is seated on a bench on number the far eight, side Jude of the Armstrong field. And back deep for the over. Indians. Yeah, I don't know if he got his bell rung and got a concussion or what, but he laid there. Uh, hopefully he's okay. McCracken. Okay. 
Just the opening two weeks are played on Friday nights, and then when we get into week three, we start going to neutral sites, and some are on Friday, some are on Saturday. I believe that has to be on turf, if I'm not mistaken, right? And I think that's limited number of fields, too. So here's Smith on the far side of the field, and Trey Parsons will, will be back. Number eight, Jude Armstrong on the return. But with uh, the additional fields in the, uh, the WBL, Shawnee close, with huh? the turf and Otto Glendorf and... How is the stadium project coming at uh, Titans? Are they uh, moving along? Yeah, I think they're about halfway, which is good. I don't know what, what is it here. They, they well, This was passed line, on a levy, time. correct? This yeah. was passed on a levy, and uh, we talked to Mark Bagley at halftime over a three-year process. They uh, do a complete rebuild of this particular area, but keep it downtown. Parsons, the quarterback, He's got friend on his left hip. And now he is being pressured as has been last possession. He just runs for his life and chucks it. And trying to make a catch on the sideline was Armstrong, but the ball was too far, too wide. Three, Trey Parsons' pass intended for eight. And, and McCracken Armstrong was out there in the flats. He, he ran hard and, Luke Wessel. and stayed in front of Second Armstrong there, the McCracken. And then when he's seen Parsons get out there, he turned on the Jets and forced him to throw it. And it was a great job, good read by McCracken. They've done a really good job yes. of pressuring from the right side of the defensive formation and forcing him to run to his right and limiting his opportunities. Good pressure here in the second half for Van Wert. Yeah, good adjustment at halftime because he was having his own way there in the pocket the first half. Parsons to throw again. And there's going to be a flag in the area where we typically think of holding. The ball was caught, and then Jude Armstrong gets wrestled three, out of bounds Parsons by Wessel. Yeah. Yeah. Jude Armstrong. Yeah. Good job, one-arm tackle by Wessel. Yeah. Yeah. That showed his strength there. He's kind of coming, maybe Tony hopping the play. gingerly there. I call a hold? I believe hold, yeah. Probably is. Armstrong, as you said, not uh, moving with the greatest of fluidity. Let's see uh, what happens. He's going to stay in the football game. It's a hold. Tony and goes against the Indians for holding. Asking coach, do you want uh, third and whatever? Do you want to back him up and make it second? Looking to see where the football's put down. They're going to march it back. The hold. Yeah, yeah I yes, think they're they going to take it. Yep. Take the penalty back inside the 20. Looks like it's going to go to about the 18 yard line. It will be second and 22. 31 seconds to go here in the quarter. Van Wert subs in Haggerty, so it looks like they're going to rush three and drop eight, looks like. Pratt's on the sideline. Yep. They've given him a little bit of a break. He's played almost all the football game as quarterback and defensive end. Yeah. Going uh, three rushers, three linebackers, and five defensive backs. A long pass, and a couple guys falling down, yeah. trying to get to the football, and we got to get a no call. Yeah. I think Crew kind of slipped there. Number three, Trey yeah. Parsons' pass intended for 12. Braylon Miller's incomplete. In the process, Miller, he's the Defended guy by who 28. replaced Reece Rodriguez. Crew. He fell over him, but... Third uh, down and long for the Indians. Incidental contact, and nothing yeah. called. I think, I think Crew fell on his own accord there, so it wasn't like he got pushed down or anything else, and they fell over top of him because he was in that spot. Third and 22 for Parsons. There's that three-man rush up front, a little stunt action. Ball's gunned over the middle as will fall incomplete. Fourth down. Number three, Trey Parsons is passing. Ten for Borton. Ten for 15, Ethan Borton's incomplete. Seven seconds to go here in quarter Defended number three. by 30. Aaron Reichert, Parker has fourth and long to for find the who Indians. the punter's going to be because Rodriguez has been the punter. Yeah. And of course, he's like out. Braylon Miller looks like he's going back there, the sophomore. So it must be the JV punter, possibly. Yeah. Miller. Crutchfield and Parker standing right around the 50 yard line. Nice punt. Yeah, that's a pretty good punt. Parker will field in his own territory. A little bit of room to run. A lot of room to run. Up the sideline he goes before he gets pushed out of bounds. Seven, Brylin Parker on the return. 
to Kovar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Number number 10, I believe Kovar. I don't think that's a might. He did that see a touchdown the there because uh, he had green grass in front of him. That brings quarter number three to an end. It was a good quarter for the Van Wert Cougars. They put 14 on the board, 13 on the board, and they will take a 34-7 lead to the fourth. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Kitchen Incorporated in Van Wert has GE appliances that specializes in all your kitchen and bathroom remodeling needs. Stop in or call Shay today for a free estimate at 419-238-5650. Mark Shine and Scott Mag here. Van Wert will take over. A 34-7 lead. 13-play drive the last time. Parker scored on a touchdown pass. Before that, Phillips scored. So those 13 points went to Van Wert. They got a short field right here. Here's Parker in space. Parker He's headed dangerous. for the end zone. Yep. And cut back, run. He's going to oh. get dragged down inside yeah. the five. Seven, nice Brian, room. Parker, that was Barry. very close to like a horse collar to get him down there. But Brought down by 10. Oh, uh, he is Kovar. so dangerous. You know, a team, it's like they, good for a the, they beat their wills, you know, and then, then they go to Parker, and he just he just hammers it home. Got all the way to the, to the, yeah. the two-yard line. line. Yes. Wow. 25-yard pickup, and give it to him again. Yeah. Let him Untouched. walk into the end zone. Yes, yeah. he does. Number seven, Brylin Parker on the carry. Good for the Cougar touchdown. Just a two-play drive. And that's going to put us uh, into running clock territory. Yes, sir. A great play call, right, to give it to the guy that got you all the way down there and he knows what to do. He's seen the green in front of him. He just runs through people. There's our Lee Kinsel sales and service. Extra point attempt by Damon McCracken. The football down. Let's see you about ready to go here. <laughs> Took just 20 seconds for that drive to take place and did so for 27 yards. Here's McCracken. Ooh, slipped. slipped, yeah. Oh, hope he gets up. That, <laughs> yeah, that's so when you roll an ankle on. Right, or you tear leg ligament or something, but that was, yeah. He gets up, a little bit of sportsmanship right there. Yeah. 11.40 to go in the football game. When we come back, it's running clock. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Ladies and gentlemen, this the free WSN Scores app is the easiest way to follow Number local high school Damon sports. So kicking off the Cougars. More schools, more sports, and more scores than WSN. Number eight, Jude Armstrong back deep WSN for the Indians. WSN, the App Store, or the Android Play Store. With a 33-point lead once this kickoff takes place. In fact, before the kickoff takes place, we start running clock. Van Wert's had three possessions here in half number two, and they've scored on all three of them. It's for Kraken's kickoff. Seen this movie before. Goes yeah. right to the same spot every right. time. Here's Smith trying to get wide. They force him back inside, and he's going to go down right about yeah. the 25-yard line. What great Number 11, discipline Smith on the return. kickoff coverage. Everyone stays in their lane knowing that, you know, he takes on the block, tries to get outside, but everybody's in their lane. Force them back into Rubbed their friends nine, and make Colin the practice and tackle. Five, Gage Steeman. Great coaching, great discipline by the kickoff coverage team. Well, it's going to be right on the 25-yard line. In the second half, Wasiana started from their own 37, Balls at their the own 30, yard their own 30, line, first and now the 25. The following three touchdowns by Cougars. They're in half number two. Trey Parsons will hand off. And not much running room up inside. Number 24, Ryan Friend, friend on the friend carry. Again. Brought down by 56, Fletcher Smith, and 51, Morgan Bigham. Picked up a couple. Gain one, we'll second and nine for the Indians. Yard line. I don't see Pratt out there on his defensive end position, so he must be getting, uh, yeah. getting another break here. I think that's one of those situations. I'm not going to risk a <laughs> Pratt on the field right now. Absolutely, and he does so well on the offensive quarterback. You don't want to risk him getting hurt for next week. Quick pitch, friend trying to run wide. Cuts it inside. He's got a lot of room. Yes, yes, it is. He's going to pick up a first down. He's still, still running, running up the running front hard. end. Still running again before he gets knocked out of bounds finally. Number 24, Ryan. Good friend job. Good hard yeah. run by that young man. Good yeah. job. 
Very well, nice run. Play 51, Morgan Bigham. Their offensive line, well, John Spurgeon's the Indian center. First down. Left guard's Aiden Leininger. The right guard's Chance Snow. The left, uh, the left tackle's Layden Turat. And the right tackle is Tony Vasquez. And he runs that one up to the 45-yard line. Pickup of 18. Best run of the night. See if they give it to him again. Nope, this time it'll be Parsons. And he will lean forward. For Number three, Trey Parsons on the keeper. He hasn't had many carries tonight when he hasn't been running for his life trying to throw yeah. the football. Down by number 12, right. Rylan Burnett. A couple of times that he's got out in the open, he's made 8, 10, 12 three, yards. Second, but seven for the Indians. You know, it's, not, it's been few and far between, Mark. The play call from his coach on the sideline. Mr. Derryberry, our white hat official today, is helping Mr. Smith. Right. Sam Smith with his uniform. Getting what his, a good guy. Yeah. Shoulder pads back in where they belong. Trips left. Parsons to throw. Out pattern. Caught on the far side by Armstrong. Number three, Trey Parsons' pass complete to Another eight. First down. Armstrong. Nice drive here for the Indians. Way to four, Luke Wessel is on a play. It's good for an Indian first down. Wessel was played well defensively this evening. Made that tackle to the 43 of the Cougars. Eight twenty. This, I mean, this is the example of running clock. They've had yeah. the football for three and a half minutes already. Right. And ran five plays. Parsons. There's oh. a friend just yeah. miscommunicate. <laughs> fumbled. Well, I think on the play. Uh, Parsons fumbled it, and uh, friend kind of hit <laughs> his foot, and then he's said of getting disaster. He's jumped on it. Ryan Friend. Football goes back to the 40. Loss of three on the play. Six. Second 13 for the Indians. Second down. This time number 10 is in the backfield. Number 10 is Austin Kovar. Parsons to throw. Oh, what a tackle. Far side. Yes. How about that? Number three, Trey Parsons' Bolton. pass complete to 15, Ethan Borton. Brought down by 13, Ash Bear. And we get the football back to about the 43-yard line. Gain of two on the play, third and 11 for the Indians. A third down and 10-plus right here for... You know, something we haven't mentioned all night, Mark, is how sure of tacklers the Cougars have been. I, I, there hasn't been many run after the catches to these receivers. They pretty much, if they get their hands on them, they're getting them to the ground or getting them out of bounds. It's been really impressive. Parsons to throw again. And now he will step up, dump pass out. Tim Tebow. Yeah. <laughs> Kovar gets it on the far <laughs> side. Good hard running by Kovar. Trey Parsons' pass complete to 10. You, you know, Scott, Kovar. I, I think that uh, the Van Wert Cougar defense is underrated. You know, their offense gets so many points on the board, they turn the ball back over that they have to play defense again so quickly. Brought down by 51, Morgan they, Bigham. They play well defensively. They have yeah. again here this evening. Yeah, their defensive seven, backs are sure tacklers. The they don't really... They are, play great assignment football. I mean, I, I haven't seen many missed tackles. I haven't seen many run after the catches. It, it's just, it's good to see, and that, that's a good formula for winning football games. Halfway through quarter number four, they're facing fourth and four from the 37 of the Cougars. There's a pitch. Kovar runs the outside, and he falls forward. I think he's got the first down. I believe so. Good hard running by Kovar. Yeah, he 10, Austin Kovar. Wrapped on that up, and he ran right through some people. Brought Austin down by Kovar, 12, Ryland Burnett. Six foot 195. Play he's good for an Indian first down. Somebody hurt, though, looks like. Yeah, there is. We've got a player down see the that. far side. And while they tend to the injured player, we're going to take a break. You're watching high school playoff football, WSN. You can see the injured Cougar on the field. It would be a number 13, Ashton Bear, a 5'9", senior defensive back. You can see he's got some uh, lower body injury on the right side, and we certainly hope he's able to get back and continue this playoff football season. And Wish the best for Ashton. On that play, the Indians were able to pick up a first down to the Cougar 31-yard line. 
They're going to continue with 5.49 to go. And Trey Parsons will look to take the snap. Going to roll it to the left, this side himself, throw it to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Picked off in the end zone by Carson Smith. Second one of the night. Uh -oh. Smith. Got plenty of room to run. He's got a lot of room to run. And finally, he's going to go down about the 40-yard 40 40 line. line. Number three, Trey Parsons is intercepted. intercepted by the Cougars. Number two, Carson Smith. Carson Smith. Has he had a good game in that defensive yeah, backfield? He sure has. He's playing that safety position, and like a ball hawk, he goes out there and gets it. He got uh, as many receptions as his jersey number there. That's impressive. I'll take the football to the 40-yard line with 5.23 to go. And... Not only does he make a good INT in the end zone, but he also runs it all the way back right. out Ball's to the 40. Ball's returned to the 40-yard right. line. It'll be first and 10 for the Cougars. We'll We've got offensively for the Cougars. Yeah. Pratt's going to be still be out there. We'll see there. And we'll see how quickly they get to the line of scrimmage. I'm going to bet they're going to use every bit of the 40-second play clock every time they snap the football. Pratt will keep and will go down as he gets about four yards. No sense of Pratt on the keeper. Smart move by him. No sense of taking any yep. unwanted, unnecessary hits, and Brought you know, live to play for uh, to next week. Gain of five. Good opportunity to, four, to work on that uh, for the Cougars. clock management situation for the Cougars. You see, the play clock now is down to about 18. They're going to take as much time as they possibly yeah. can. I would agree with you. I would, I would be surprised if they snap it. Before under five for sure. Here's your senior quarterback and right at five. Quick pass out, Crutchfield. Crutchfield's headed up the sideline and uh, we'll get run out of bounds. And we'll also pick up the first down. You know, without the running clock, well, that really doesn't well, matter, you know, because they're still going to let it run. But Maddox yeah. Crutchfield. Maybe not. Is he short? Ran out of bounds no, by 52. Justin think, Duncan. Zalpa is good for a Cougar. To the 49 of. The Indians. They just they just get to the line so fast it seems like they they have to wait forever to get it under five seconds. Is it nine right now? There's Parker, he's out in space. Cut back run. What a run by Parker. Yeah. Just, did you see the way he yeah. just waited and waited for that Brown lineman on the to get out there and make a lead block for him? Right I tell you, he does 11, such a great Smith. job of setting up his, good for a his linemen, and I'm just so impressed with his vision. His ability to, to be patient behind his blockers to make yeah. cuts. I, I think that's the, the most impressive part. And obviously, he's a strong young man with good wheels. Yes. Looks like um, we might be getting a line change here because they're – kind of talking to their JV got huddled right here and down in front of us. So this might be yeah. uh, We're under three minutes. Right. I think they may yeah, call a timeout here. I was going to say, Coach Recker's down here talking to the yep. line judge here. They're going to wait, run it down to right there and call timeout. Here comes that line change you were talking about. They're going to get a Final good ovation for this starting line. Yep. This first team offense comes off the field and they did a wonderful job tonight putting 40 on the board. Yes, he did. See Coach Recker out there, doing a lot of hugging, and offensive staff really happy, as well they should be. And that defensive staff should be happy too, because they played a heck of a game as well. Defense gave up uh, one drive, one touchdown pass, really a 56 yards. Yeah. Other than that, they have been very, very solid all night long. A team that averages 23.9 a game, and looks like they're gonna end up with seven, so it's been a really good defensive night, as well as putting points on the board. Van Wert averages 46 and a half. They've got 40 right now. If the JV guys could put one in the end zone, they would be right at that average on the season. The new quarterback will be number 17, Briston Wise. 5'965 pound sophomore. He will hand off and try to make a cut inside would be number 25, Kyle Eggleston. It's good, good to see that the coaching staff has a trust in the uh, JV team to get in there and get some playing time again. I, this is no great because these guys practice just as hard and 
yep. they're the ones that get beat on by the varsity and you know they deserve this too so that's good to see that these guys getting in here and getting to play and uh Wasion's kind of subbing out some guys too so it's good to see getting everybody to play and you know. a chance to show your action and yeah play off football here's the only difference is it's a little bit happier on the Van Wert side than it is on the Cougar side. A lot of hugs and or on the Indian side, excuse me. Eagleson will not get back to the line of scrimmage on that run as he goes down. Right 25, about Kyle Eggleston on the carry. Eggleston goes down a third down. Lost a couple that Brought time. Brought down by back 54, to the 20, Jeff Seifker. Third and 12. Loss of two on the play. Third and 12 for the Cougars. See the play clock now at 20 is coach very, very satisfied to just let this one yep. run down. Scoreboard that has been sponsored by Kitchens Incorporated in Van Wert. Our extra point sponsor that has been Lee Kinsel Sales and Service. He's wise. Take that snap. Hands off again and in the backfield very quickly to make the tackle that time is Kyle Seth Seifer. on the carry. <laughs> Must be a crowd favorite because a lot of the guys over there on the Wauseon Indian side are jumping around and and uh, good for the, good for him getting cheers by his teammates. Fourth and sixteen for the Cougars. Cougars will have to run a play based on where the play clock is. Back to the twenty-five yard line. It is fourth down. Thank the athletic director here at Van Wert, Trent Temple, with him this week and got this one set up. Why is going to throw the football? I know it's going to roll right and keep looking. <laughs> Good running Look by out. that young man. So. Uh oh, yeah. And finally, he's going to go down, yeah. but he's going to pick up a first, first down, down yep. about the seven Number yard 17, line. Briston Wise on the Good 18 yard <laughs> run for him. <laughs> Brought down by 15, Ethan. Kind of looked like a running back there, yeah, Luke. About really good. Yeah, and I don't think we're going to. Yeah, we're not going to run another play. play we'll bring Cougar. this particular playoff football game to an end. The Van Wert Cougars will take a 40 to 7 victory over the Wasion Indians. Wasion will finish the season at six and five. They were four and four in the NWOAL. Keith Rector's team wins their 10th game of the season. They will be 10 and 1. They were 8 and 1 in the Western Buckeye League, and they will move on to play playoff football again a week from tonight. We want to thank Nick Nunez and Matt Brown for setting things up for us here this evening at Edgar Stadium. Zach Keith will edit this together back at the station. We thank you for watching, and Van Wert moves on to playoffs. It's 40 to Wasion 7. You've been watching high school playoff football on WOSN.